One family here in Hampton Roads will always have a great story to tell about their new addition. Yeah, the morning rush took on a whole new meaning today, but the little bundle of joy just couldn't wait. So he was born right along 64 at the Shell Road overpass near the high rise bridge. And your side's Brandy Cummings in Chesapeake now, where she talked with the new parents. Brandy? Well, Tom, Nicole, mom and baby, the family, they're all doing well tonight. And, you know, even though uh, the mom wasn't expecting to deliver her bundle of joy for another five days, uh, she says she had a feeling it may happen sooner than then. This special delivery wasn't supposed to happen for another five days. But this morning, Stephanie Stonis says her contractions were different. She knew it was time to get to the hospital. Her husband, Mark, insisted he drive. After all, They'd been through this twice before already. With their eldest daughter, Victoria, the labor was long. At that time, mom wanted to stay home. Dad insisted on going to the hospital. I felt the need that we really should get to the hospital so the doctors can do their thing. Then their second daughter, Kaylee. She was born two weeks early and was delivered very quickly. They made it to the hospital in the nick of time. So I had that thought running through my head too, and so I kind of thought, this could happen fast, so let's get in the car and be ready and get there. With excitement, anticipation, and a little anxiousness, as any dad would be, Mark started the 30-minute drive from their Virginia Beach home to the hospital in Suffolk, where they were supposed to deliver. Stephanie didn't think she'd make it. She was right. When we were on the high-rise bridge, um, I, my water broke, and I felt the need to push. So I was telling my husband that, he needed to pull over because I needed to push. Reluctantly, he did. During rush hour, with cars driving by, minutes after stopping, baby Paul Mark Anthony Stonis was born. Dad using his shoelace to tie off the umbilical cord. This, just one of a few stories he'll tell his son when he gets older. When I was born, I was in the newspapers as well because I was the first one in, the, in this particular hospital up in Maine um, to be born in that facility. And so I was in the newspaper and he is now going to be in the newspaper, and so that's pretty exciting that, like father, like son. Newspapers, of course, here on Wavy. Uh, baby Paul was born weighing in at 6 pounds, 11 ounces. Tom Nicole asked the mom, Stephanie, uh, if she plans on having any other children. She said, quote, I think we're good. Live in Chesapeake, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.